Hello everyone. Today we're gonna tackle another thing in my studio I need to improve. I've been using this room for about like three years or something now. I don't have a standing desk anymore. I'm missing it. Like when I used the old office upstairs, I had a counter that was the perfect height to work as a standing desk, but I haven't had that luxury anymore. And everything I've tried in here so far was a bit too janky or just was too cumbersome to use. So we're gonna turn this desk into a standing desk. Got a box in the mail here. We're gonna keep the top that's on there and just replace the legs. So like the desktop uh, I have on there. This, this thing is still pretty good. It's sturdy thickness. I think it'll fit well on there. Now I need to go grab some. Let's go. Right, Let's right, get right, the right. desk cleaned off. And then we'll unpack the box. Okay, I'm gonna take this chance while I'm at it and cleaning off the desk to just rip all the cables out and everything so I can redo my wiring, make it a little bit cleaner, because right now... So yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, I've already torn some of it apart, so it's messier than it was. That's it for the cables down here. This cable cage off. Yeah, it's been about an hour just to clear up this desk while filming it because just filming things makes stuff take way longer. Now I'm gonna try and take that thing off of the this. You know when your brain just blacks out. It's just happened to me. Well, I'm gonna try to take the desktop off of the legs and then I'll get to unpacking the actual new standing desk legs, whatever. This thing is heavy. All right, so uh, let's get into the box. These are actually nicely labeled. Jeez Louise. Like one done. I like that they have a little tab here to align it better. You might be asking yourself, is this the content I came here for? To that I counter, apparently you're still watching, so I guess that's a yes. So you're just waiting for me to fail or something. That might still happen. One of the best to use for old hard drives is ripping the magnets out. They're very strong magnets in hard drives, so just rip those out and you can use them to magnetize your tools or whatever. Stick things to counters, whatever. When you do metal fasteners, I always find it's helpful to not fasten one side down prematurely all the way, just give it like a semi-tight fit, then actually connect, make both of them connect hard. Otherwise, you might have it down so hard that the other one can't move into place where it's supposed to be. Alright, so I think this is more or less how I'm gonna connect it. I'm still gonna go grab a measuring stick to make sure I have all the same distances everywhere. Alright, I got the frame width set up and screwed down now, so now it's time to actually attach it to the desk. First though, get a drill to pre-drill. Oh, two dolts. Let's pre-drill some holes. So I don't want to be drilling, like accidentally drilling all the way to the top of the desk since that will make a nasty hole in the top. My little hack here, just put some duct tape on the drill bit. Make sure it's not longer than it needs to be. It's only gonna go about three, about three quarters in. So, should be golden. All right, so time to put some washers in and then we'll start screwing it down. Actually, I'm gonna flip it over more. Pop all these washers in, get screwing. Time to put the handset on there. Yeah, it's just gonna make it like flush with the other jets because I know my silly butt is gonna keep getting up and walking past it and getting my thigh caught on it or something. I'm, I'm bad enough as it is with edges of furniture and stuff. Got that thing hooked up and I wanna actually see, I don't think it's supposed to be this handset gonna be hooked up to this control box and I kind of think I can make like a hack to make it a little cooler and try to fish it through there and make it go internally in here. Yep, that works. Which is nice. Another I think this weighs like 25 and the desk was like 15 or something. Not the lightest setup right now. Not gonna lie. 
Wow, that was heavy. I've connected the power and everything and now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to manage all my cables. Best thing I've come up with so far is taking taking this and I'm gonna just mount it upside down on there and then just tie things in there with Velcro. That's my plan for now. Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking, put it in there like that. This power supply. So what's the, the biggest thing in that canal? And it doesn't quite fit in. I'm just gonna mount it straight to the desk as well. There's like a little mounting point here and here. Not the ASMR you asked for, but the ASMR you served. Solid mount. I like it. Got it screwed on there. Clamp down on both ends. It works! Yay. I just gotta find my good working height. This is a comfortable height for working, so the low setting is fine. So I'm gonna grab a laptop and see what my standing height Sticker game. I really love this Vader one. All right, so I got my standing height programmed in at 97 centimeters or whatever it says it is, and my seating height, both all memorized in. So let's put this thing up high, set it up uh, to make sure all the cables have enough slack. One thing I really don't like about the old cinema displays, the power cable, and the display connector, both on one cable. It also means they can be maximally this far apart. So this end has to go on your laptop and this end goes into the power supply. So uh, yeah, kind of that, that part sucks about these old displays, uh, but we'll figure it out. Another advantage of using Velcro for cables is you can just attach it to others. Like you can bind it down like this uh, and just put on a strip and just attach to some other part where you already put something down. They're neatly together. That's a cool feature, I think. Also another benefit, if I put it like into a setting where there's not enough slack in the cables, these will, these are more likely to just pop open instead of damaging the cable, like with a cable tie. Those, if you tighten them down far enough, there's no margin for error. These are kind of like safety pop-offs if something happens. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking I want like everything that's coming from this power strip to be one big cable string, string of cables. So I'm gonna tie them together and I think I'm eventually gonna find a sleeve or something for them. Notice this cable kind of has the same color vibes as the paintings I have there with black, white, and, and red. I keep calling them paintings if they're posters. Okie do, good to go. I'm gonna give this a try. I do still have the Frankenstein keyboard down here. Or the one with the messed up T key. I'm gonna call this one quits for now. Experiment failed. Might work, just for trying things out. Let me just give you a quick tour of what I've done. Let's see, these are all the cables coming from the power strip going up. This is the power supply for the monitor, power supply for the other monitor, and some cables going to and from the monitor, going to the MacBook. <laughs> set up right now, liking how this works. Standing desk height is very nice. The cables are tucked nicely in there. Even when I go down to the sitting height, see you bye. Everybody gangsta until the friction arm drops the microphone, right? And ladies and gentlemen, when you forget your keys in the office, you have to run back and get them again. You really don't know how long those are gonna last anyway. So uh, you might just buy a can of beans, can of worms, so that's what it's called. Can of worms, I think. I'm, I'm bad with idioms sometimes. It's high noon. Be gone. Thought. Sorry.
for the crotch shot. This is a surprise tool that'll help us later. Right, totals? Stiffness is key. That's what she said. Rigidity is important. That's what she said. How many more takes I'm gonna do on this joke? I don't know. It's the best use for old hard drives. The power of magnets. 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 Bye. <laughs> yes, I'm a loud sneezer. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm gonna flip it over one more time. This is gonna get way too annoying. Kill the light. <sighs> Which is nice, 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 nice. Try not to get anything in our eyes. <laughs> Almost worked. Goddamn. Also connectors that went to your computer. Uh, old USB and a... Here's something I found on the web. Let's give you guys a different perspective. Favorite hobby today is pinching my finger and my tripod. Rip me. Take this as a chance to redo my... Burp. Fricks up the take. I'm doing that. A nice little poppy for me. No, oh, I'm putting the desk down. So there's the cable slack. What'd you say? Cool, Daddy. That's cool? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>